morning, now that we know that we're actually broadcasting. Uh, good morning, I'm Matt. And I'm Randy. And you've joined a Saturday morning devotion <laughs> at 10 a.m. We're okay, here <laughs> from Florida to encourage you through the Word so that you can be strong in the faith, and live victoriously in Christ. Amen. Heavenly <laughs> Father, Lord, I give you this time. Yes, Lord, that Father, you. we may, Lord, bless people through your word. I pray that we find, Lord, oh, Lord, just, just you. And everywhere we look, in everything that we do, that we would seek you. And God, that we might influence those around us by your word, Lord, yes, by living according to your word by showing love and compassion to people who need it by sharing words of encouragement to those who are discouraged lord i pray and i ask that in jesus name amen, amen. jesus said let your light shine let your light shine in the darkness mm -hmm. you have to let your light shine he said nobody takes a lamp and sticks it up under the bed a bushel yeah. or, 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 or under, well, you don't stick it under the bed either because the bed will catch on fire back then. Uh, or, <laughs> you it's awful it, hot in here tonight, honey. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the bed's on fire. It, uh, you need to let your light shine. You, you need to find the opportunity and seek the Lord when, when an opportunity opens. But it's not always something that anybody may even know about because there are times that Jesus said, Mm -hmm. Don't go out there and, and pray in front of everybody like the publican did. To be seen. To be seen of, of, oh, this person is so righteous. Sometimes you need to seek the Lord in quiet. Yeah. Now here's a great thing. You're in public, you got a mask on. You could pray <laughs> everywhere you want to go and nobody's <laughs> even going to know. It's between you and God. Amen. The reason why I say that is because... Yesterday, we had an opportunity to put quiet prayer into practice yes. Yes. to change the atmosphere on yes. the flight. Yes. We had an interesting flight back, uh, I, to, say, to say the least. Yes. <laughs> uh, at night, a family comes and sits down in, in front, front of us. us. Uh, it's afternoon there, but it's, it, the time goes backwards as you fly. and. They sit down, and I hear something something going on, and a dad, two rows in front of me, turns around to the kids, don't make me come back there. I'm going to run an airplane. You know, well, you better behave, because they're going to stop and drop you off somewhere uh, at some other airport if you don't behave. Well, there was a child who was directly in front of Randy at the time, and oh, an older too, teenager yeah. brother who was directly in front of me. Then I hear something about, he spit on me. He's flicking stuff at me. And then they're using some pretty They're using some colorful language. metaphors, including <laughs> F-bombs, including that the, the, kids. the kids started using them toward their parents. Well, sitting next to them, somebody who they didn't know, and next to him on the other aisle, and spread throughout filling in the empty seats, was a group of guys who just came back from Thursday night football with the Raiders. They, they all had their jerseys on. They, were, they all looked like somebody who played football yeah. in school. Somebody you just shouldn't be, you know, Messing with. <laughs> antagonizing. Well, the commotion continued. The, the stewardess comes back. Well, first, the boy accuses, says that his father who was sitting next to him was a stranger. Was a stranger. And starts yelling that he's touching me. Remember, he's got his hands on me. And, and the stewardess comes back and he, he goes, I don't know these people. And... and, and and I, at this point, people are starting to see. Well, so they call the parents forward. <laughs> and as they called the parents forward, that now left the child mm -hmm. unsupervised or unattended because they shifted people around in their family to try to separate the kids. All of a sudden, the kid takes his cup of water and ice and flings it at the, 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 the guys and the guys across the aisle. I mean, just as I hear ice, whoosh, and, and this boy's about 13 The guys are old. jumping up saying, what's wrong with you? What's wrong? This kid's throwing ice all over the place. Well, <laughs> some people in their anger can say things back. And yeah. the, the one guy got up and called him a punk something. <clears throat> uh, 
and went to the back of the plane to get away from this kid who, who was parents parents they're, they're not sure what to do but you know that was the perfect opportunity for us because this child is sitting within a foot and a half from me and so silently I began to pray I don't know what the situation is I don't know what the upbringing is I, I don't know whether they went to church didn't sound like it by the way that their their language, their language uh, didn't look like it by the shirts that they were wearing but that doesn't mean that I don't serve a God who can take care of a situation I'm on a flight and, and I want to have a peaceful night and be able to look out the airplane as we pass over God's creation so I just started to pray I, I, prayed, know. I, was I prayed peace my peace I give unto you I prayed that that kid that kid needed the peace I didn't know if he if he was mildly autistic I didn't know if he was just a younger brother who had been picked on by older siblings all the time and the thing about younger <laughs> brothers is that there's no hope physically to overcome your older siblings <laughs> so the best thing that I did as a little kid is I often picked up whatever I could find and I would throw it if somebody was bigger than me um, uh, my own son, the youngest, Stephen, picked up something one time and hit Curtis right in the face with some hard toy. Uh, I think I picked up the toy and threw it out the window because they were they were in the back seat. Uh, it was a little megaphone, wasn't it? I think so. A little plastic megaphone, but he hit Curtis right in the face, and it's just like you know. And, and then the older kids, they know what they want to do. <laughs> they want to beat the tar out of their their younger sibling. Um, I don't know. It just probably it just does happen with girls, but most of the time it seems like it's oh boys. <laughs> well, after we prayed, I know she was praying. I was holding her hand, and mm -hmm. I know nobody knew who we were, and I didn't want anybody to say, "Oh, look, they're praying now. Everything's all right." And no. I'm sure that there was pockets of Christians. There was in pockets of playing. Christians sure playing, praying. God, take care of the situation yeah. and calm it down. Do you know for the next two hours that kid sat quietly? Mm -hmm all the way to landing and when he he got up they left nobody was yelling at each other when we got off the plane nobody is waiting for them to come off the terminal you know so I can give them a piece of my none of that prayer changes things in your life even if it's what they call a breath prayer you know in the Bible Hannah prayed and she went in and prayed and the priest came in and said she was drunk because her lips are moving but her voice is not here she's muttering something or other mm -hmm. and uh, God hears your prayers and your prayers can change things your prayers can change a situation and you leave it in God's hands and God will take care of it we serve a God who answers prayer mm -hmm. so next time you're in the middle of a situation take some time and focus on the Lord because Jesus said not only my sheep hear my voice but he said this if you ask this is what it says in the Bible that, that if you come to me and you ask it'll be given if you seek it'll be found if you knock it'll be opened Jesus encouraged us to go to the Heavenly Father in prayer not for our glory, but to just see his hand. And when your faith is increased, because you see God's hand at work, you're going to be able to let your light shine even a little more. Because when your faith is increased, your countenance changes. Your facial expressions change. Your attitude changes. Your ability to stay at peace in the midst of a situation changes. And that is a testimony because when people see that they say I don't know how that person is making it through mm -hmm. I want to find out Amen. Amen. so be a positive testimony to people share the Word of God take time to pray when you see something mm -hmm. even if it's not anything that you're involved with yeah. put your hope and your faith in God and Thanks, yeah, please do. Psalm 105 says this, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name, 
Make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him, sing psalms to him. Talk of all his wondrous works. Glory in his holy name. Amen. Let the hearts of those rejoice who seek the Lord. Amen. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face evermore. And to do that, you need keep, to keep a praise, praise song in your heart. heart. And, and rejoice, rejoice in the Lord, Lord always. And, and again, again, I say rejoice. rejoice. Thank well, you for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow morning. 10.30. Oh, 10.30 at church, Intercession City, Florida. Just a little bit west of Point Santa Boulevard on 1792. Look for the Church of God sign. It's on the right hand side of the road if you're heading out. We'll see you in the morning. God bless. We love you. And thank you for joining us. Have a wonderful day.